Today, I'm revealing the five compelling and life-changing reasons why you should focus on your fabulous future. Now, I'm well aware as I am sharing this, your present may not be so great. You may have messed up at work. Let's face it, we all have more than once. You may have a challenge with a family member or a friend. You may just not be enjoying where you are right now or you might be feeling stuck. Well, Napoleon Hill shared that so many people make the mistake of making a permanent decision based on a temporary challenge. And so many of our challenges may, may actually be temporary, but they feel permanent. So the first life-changing reason to focus on your fabulous future is that it can lift you out of your present situation. It can get you to a new place of, okay, I've messed up at work. How can I make sure that doesn't happen next time? How can I be the friend that never says something insensitive, even though I didn't mean it, but doesn't say something insensitive again? How can I, and you start to look forward, and by doing that, you transform your present because you are focusing on how much you can do better in your fabulous future. Now, the second reason is that the more easily, the more clearly you, the vision you have of the future, it's more likely that it becomes real. And one of my favorite stories that so beautifully, and it's a real life story, so beautifully illustrates this principle is the story of twins. Now, one twin had become very successful in his personal and business life, and the other twin was homeless. And the reporter heard of their story and he was intrigued because of course, twins are born at the same time to the same family in the same circumstance. And so he asked them both the same question. To the homeless twin, he said, do what do you attribute where you are in your life right now? And the twin said, well, uh, my father was an abusive alcoholic. I had no choice but to have this terrible life that I have now. And then the reporter asked the more successful twin, to what do you attribute your success? And the twin responded, well, my father was an abusive alcoholic. I had no choice but to make sure that my life turned out differently. It's fascinating that each of them had such a clear picture of how their past would impact that future and the future they decided they had to have came true. Now, the third compelling reason why you should focus on your fabulous future is it can actually improve your present. Now, different from being lifted up in the first reason I gave you, there's been some fascinating study done about how clearly people could see themselves in 10 years time and how that impacted their life right now. And there were three major impacts. The first was that they were less likely to procrastinate. They were more likely to make great financial decisions and to save money, and they were more compassionate to themselves. And when you think about it, it makes sense. If you can see your life, see who you want to be so clearly in 10 years time, then you might not put off that really boring admin task or project that you know is actually going to benefit you in the long run because you can clearly see the outcome of completing that task. You know what your dream house, your dream boat, your dream trip is going to look like, so it's much easier to save up for it. And you're not so hard on yourself because you know that you're working towards a plan, even though sometimes it might seem like baby steps. Now, the other compelling reason why you should focus on your fabulous future is it can actually get you there faster. Now, it's a great shame, but Sunday and one day are not days of the week. And so thinking about the business you might start someday or one day never makes it happen. But if you decide to focus on the fabulous future that you want, which includes you starting that business, you can say, well, today I can think about who in my circle could be a mentor for when I start my business. I can think about who I can reach out to to support me. I can think about what I might need to read, what I might need to study, what I might need to know. And then it's a much shorter distance to just getting started. And the final reason why you should focus on your fabulous future is that you can actually decide what that future is going to be. Abraham Lincoln said the best way to design your future is to create it. 
And you can actually do that by defining what it is you're aiming for, but then make a decision every single day. Every day I think about what one step can I take towards the future I want today. And sometimes it's health, sometimes it's reaching out and supporting someone. Sometimes it's just making a small personal change because I know they all add up. And everything you do today creates tomorrow. So I'm so excited to share all these reasons with you. If you haven't yet got my worksheet, the five top questions to ask to create your best future. It's the five questions I ask to, to develop a future mindset every single day. It's on my website. It's free. Dive in, enjoy, and think about your fabulous future.